Hi, my name is Murnal and I'm going to walk you through a very simple and quick demonstration of how to use Crossloop. Uh, this is from the perspective of someone who needs help. So hopefully for those of you who are helping your friends and family on a regular basis or even clients, uh, this should be a great tool for you to share with them so that they can have the product installed and ready on their computer and all then you've got to do is get on the phone and start helping them. So to start using Crossloop, you first need to go and download the software at www.crossloop.com and you'll notice a big green free download button and you need to click on that. This will prompt you to either run it or to save it. And if you're using Firefox, you'll probably have to download it first. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Run. And then you're prompted for the security question. And as you notice that the publisher is Crossloop, you're absolutely safe to go ahead and click on Run. Since Crossloop is available in 21 different languages, you can choose whatever you prefer. Um, if you have family all across the globe, uh, they can choose the language of choice but for this demonstration I'm going to go ahead and select English. Once I click OK I will see the Crossloop setup wizard pop up and this will basically walk me through the installation and have Crossloop installed on my computer. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Next and then out of the two radio buttons on the screen here at the bottom I'm going to click on I accept the agreement. This is the Crossloop Terms of Service and then I'm going to click on Next this creates this screen basically gives you the option of creating a desktop and a quick launch icon then I'm gonna go ahead and click on next and then it's ready to install and I need to just go ahead and click on the install button you can see it moves very quickly because the software is really small it's just about two megabytes and so now that we have completed the crossloop setup wizard I'm gonna click on finish leaving the check mark for the launch crossloop button on and as soon as I click finish it should launch Crossloop here in the corner on the right hand side. So I'm going to grab it here and bring it into the middle. And let me quickly explain what all the different buttons mean. Uh, the host tab is for those who need help. So you need to click on the host tab and those who are helping will need to be on the join tab. So in a classic case, uh, let's say I need help. So I'm going to be in the host tab and you'll notice I have this access code here. It's basically something that is randomly generated each time you run the application and this is a part of our security model. You need to share that with your trusted contact on the phone or via IAM. And once they have that, they're going to take this 12-digit access code and enter it in their empty field here. So I'm going to have my friend uh, Joe take this access code and connect with me and take control of my computer. Joe, are you ready to take the access code? I'm ready. It is 8283-1899-2255. And now I'm going to click on Connect, and Joe is also going to click on Connect. And you'll notice that there's a timer here of two minutes. And that's a part of our security model so that to ensure that there is someone physically at the other computer. Finally, you're also prompted whether you would like to connect and share control of your computer or not with the person who you just shared the uh, access code with. I'm going to go ahead and click on yes which should basically launch a viewer on Joe's computer and now he has full computer uh, control of my computer and you can see the UI has moved to the right hand side corner. I'm going to quickly uh, walk you through the four icons that are here on the UI. You'll notice the gearbox and that basically is a drop down that allows you to uh, get to us if you need to. Um, there's Crossloop help there and if you want to get to a blog and know what's the latest development at our end, you can do that too. Uh, you can also see your use it statistics and you can see um, the about Crossloop button. The icon next to the gearbox is the folder which basically now allows you to transfer files. Uh, this was not a feature that was there before but lots and lots of our users um, basically suggested that we include that and hence we added that feature about two or three months ago. Next to it is a keyboard icon and again that's another part of our security model so if you are giving control to your com uh, of your computer to someone who you don't still know that well you can basically do a view only option 
What that does basically is now that your contact will not be able to take control, they'll not be able to type, they'll not be able to open anything, but can only see what you are doing, which also is extremely beneficial when you're talking to someone on the phone and trying to explain what's on your computer. So I'm gonna go ahead and uncheck that so that Joe does have full control. And then finally the icon next to it is to switch control between the users. So now if I wanted to look at Joe's computer, I would click on that with one click basically have now access to his computer and he would be in the state I am in right now. So very quickly I'm going to do a short demonstration of how to transfer files back and forth. So I'm going to have Joe send me a couple of files over from his computer. Uh, let's say for the demonstration purposes it, it could be say a device drive or software. Joe do you want to send me a couple of uh, files please? So as soon as Joe sends those to me, you can see that I'm prompted that do I want to download these two um, uh, files. So I'm going to go ahead and click on save. And this pulls up a classic Windows Explorer browser and I'm going to, you'll notice that it is on my desktop and I'm just going to go ahead and click on save. And you'll notice that it's all done and, and complete. And it's super fast. So I'm not going to open it, I'm just going to go ahead and close it. And I wanted to quickly also show you uh, how um, easy it is to um, send files uh, over to the other side as well. So I'm going to try and change the little bit shape here of my browser and minimize it. And let's say I'm going to take a couple of files here from my desktop. I'm going to use the control key button and select these two here and then drag them over onto my UI here of Crossloop. As soon as I drop that in into the UI Joe will basically get a prompt saying do you want to save uh, the two files and Joe is going to say save and then basically I send these two files over uh, to Joe who's a few miles away from here. Joe how many miles is Fresno from the Bay Area? About 150. It's about 150 miles so as you can see now the file transfer is complete I'm going to go ahead and do a close and that is pretty much it. It's really simple. Uh, one, click, uh, one quick note uh, is on the disconnect button. When you click on disconnect, there is absolutely no session going on between you and the remote user. There are no back doors for the person to be able to come in. And if you want to have a session again, you need to work through this entire process that we talked about. You need to share that access code with someone and then click on connect and then again uh, give permission to let them take control of the computer. So from a security aspect, this is not something that would be continuously running on your computer and someone would have access to it. Uh, so that is pretty much it in terms of the demonstration. If you have any questions at any time, you should not hesitate to contact us. Maybe it's certain difficulties you're facing or if you have feature requests. We really like listening to all of you. So if you want, you can send me an email. I'm at mrinalmernal at crossloop.com. With that, I hope you have a great day.